Hey, hey, what's up? It's Dan Ward, Ward Wrestling, man. What an awesome show I've got for you today. Uh, obviously, if you haven't heard, Andrew College up in Georgia has uh, named a new head coach for their JUCO program down there, Billy Gordy. Uh, he comes with a lot of experience uh, in the NAIA programs and, and wrestling himself throughout the rankings. He's coached a lot of national champions and, and everything. So uh, he's really starting to to get that program going, and we're, we, we're happy he's close to Florida because oh, yeah. uh, all of our JUCO kids go out to Iowa. So maybe some, right. of them, uh, maybe some of them have a little closer drive here, but – Man, Coach Gordy, uh, thanks for reaching out. And, man, it's, it's awesome to meet you. I've heard amazing things. But, uh, man, talk about a little bit of, uh, of, first of all, where you came from, your little bit of background, and then how how this whole thing came to fruition for you to start a JUCO in Georgia. Yes, sir. Yep. So, um, originally, I grew up in Perry, Georgia. Um, you know, it's a small town in Georgia. Um, but – two hours south of Atlanta. Um, and then I just wrestled all throughout high school. And actually, um, how I got started was one of the football coaches was the head wrestling coach. And he uh, he stopped me in the hallway and said, hey, how much do you weigh? And I'm like, last time I went to the doctor two years <laughs> ago, and I weighed this much. And, you know, um, so he said, all right, stop by and uh, hop on the scale. And I was like, all right, sure. I weighed 94 pounds. Um, I was like, all right, you're our guy, 106. I was like, all right, cool. So I went home to my dad. I said, hey, uh, I'm going to join the wrestling team. He said, all right, sure. <laughs> so um, and then years later, I uh, I wrestled Division Two at Emmanuel College um, in North Georgia. Um and then I was actually a part of that brand new program. Um, so I was in their very first recruiting class as an athlete. Um, and then I transitioned into coaching, um, started off in AI um, at Midway University. Um, it's right outside of Lexington, Kentucky. Um, I was up there for about five and a half years, um, did some great things up there. Um, and then down here at Andrew came about. Um, so basically we got a brand new president, um, last June. Um, and he wanted to start up wrestling. So, um, I reached out and, you know, now we are here today. <laughs> here we are. That's awesome. So yeah, you were probably like, man, I, I lived in Georgia. I grew up in Georgia. I wrestled in Georgia. What the hell am I doing in Kentucky? I need to go back to Georgia. Absolutely. <laughs> so um, that's like the uh, the very first time it, it snowed up there. I don't know what to do. <laughs> so uh, I was like, well, I guess I got to go grab ice scrapers. So I did, and I'm scraping off the car, and it's all good now. I don't have snow on nothing. Well, yeah. I slipped on a piece of ice. And fell, and my ice scraper broke. Oh, so, this won't last too much longer. <laughs> last too much. That's funny. Yeah. So my son is up in Illinois now. My older son, right? And we had we've been to like we would take him to Colorado to go snowboarding or whatever during the winter. So it's not like he didn't see snow, but he never lived in snow. And this first year being up in Illinois, he would send us pictures of him doing snow angels and selfies of him all done. <laughs> And yeah, yeah, it was definitely a, a new a new experience to live in it, right? It's it's one thing to vacation in it and you're there for a right. week, uh, but to live in it and do your every everyday things around oh, yeah. what that is what that's awesome. But yeah, I mean, I've talked to people already that uh, are in North Florida and South Florida that I believe have already reached out to you. They have kids in in the pipeline to come up and and either visit you or signed already and. Yeah. Um, that's that's pretty awesome. And with the growth of Florida wrestling and Georgia wrestling and the whole Southeast wrestling, Correct. I think um, having a JUCO here will be good. I mean, listen, we have great JUCOs out in Iowa and we have great JUCOs in Nebraska and the Midwest and, and out there. And they do an outstanding job. And I'm sure we'll continue to have kids go out there. But to, to have one in the Southeast, I think, will help kids stay home. And 
and obviously from talking to other ju junior college coaches, and I'm sure you would attest to this, is a lot of times you'll you'll get the kid that needs a little more development in life, whether it's in education or wrestling or their sport, which is your sport, which is wrestling. And and your goal is to be that person for them, right? To teach them how to do the classwork, teach them how to do homework, teach them how to get the grades, and then and then work on their development for college, and then find them another college to go to after they've done two years. So uh, it, it's nice we can keep some kids home, I think, and uh, and I think with a lot of the good NAIA programs in the southeast. Uh, I think you'll be able to get some good wrestling in. I'm sure. I'm sure yeah. Omi Omi would invite you. I'm sure Travis Patrick would invite you. I'm sure the guys at St. Thomas and and whoever takes over Kaiser would invite you. And yeah, and that would be fun to see some of that that stuff going on. Um, how's it been going so far? Yeah, you know, so it, things here have been going great. Um, you know, I think a good thing for us, like you said, is. I don't think there's enough wrestling programs in the Southeast as it is, you know, and then we bring in a Juco and one thing about us is, you know, we're the only Juco in the Southeast, you know, so uh, I'm not traveling 10 hours every weekend to go compete, you know, other junior college, you know, so um, with, you know, basically Georgia, Alabama, Florida, Tennessee, you know, kind of this southeast tri-state area is where we will be competing, you know, and as a schedule goes, you know, NAI D2, D3 competition. And I think that is going to get us better week in and week out, you know, and then once it's time for a JUCO conference tournament, you know, obviously it's all junior college. So, yeah, I know when my, uh, my uncle, who is in his 70s now, when he wrestled, uh, it used to be called, now it's called Dade College, but it used to be called Miami Dade Community College. Yep. And um, they had a program, and he wrestled for that junior college. And I know a lot of the, uh, the older wrestlers in Florida are always like, man, how, how, do we get, how do we get something like that back? And having you show up on the scene, and, and hopefully maybe that's a good sign or, or maybe – you'll be able to, to get them moving, right? Because how Absolutely. cool would it be to have, uh, like you said, man, if you've got to compete against a JUCO, you got to go across the country, right? Um, it'd be cool to have a little Southeastern conference or something, right? Where, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, or you guys could battle each other. But, yeah, uh, it's glad to see. So how does it work? How do kids get in there? Uh, have you opened up a room yet? Do, do you have kids already come into the practice room? I know, I know you just, you just basically unlocked the door yesterday. So not, not, you know, not yesterday, right. but I'm just saying right, it, right. it was like 10 minutes ago. So uh, yes, your first so, class will be coming in this year. Yes, sir. Yep. So, um, you know, basically I was hired in October, um, you know, and just got down here, started to recruit, hit the ground, all that. Um, and then, like I said, junior college building from scratch, brand new wrestling program. So, you know, as far as a wrestling room goes, the construction on the room is complete. Um, you know, now we're just waiting on wall pads, practice mats, all that good stuff. So, and that, um, isn't something that just happens overnight. So, um, <laughs> right. you know, but our, our room will be done by the time the guys report to campus in August, so. Um, cool. So uh, you're on the trail. What, uh, what are some of the, uh, what are some of the tournaments in your sight lines that you, you'll probably travel to in the Southeast? I know, well, right in your backyard in Duluth will be SC Re uh, Southeast Regionals th this yes. coming weekend. So you won't have right. to go far for that. Um, right. But will we, we will we see you at like a Spartan Nationals at a uh, knockout summer classic at uh, things like that that happen down here? The Christmas knockout, the Braves Invitational yeah. during the year. I mean, there's there's a lot of great things that go on down in our state. Oh yeah. So um, I uh, I definitely try and hit the Christmas tournament every year. Um, I was down there this past year. Um, you know, and then as far as 
national tournament goes, you know, definitely a Super 32 um, and NHS CAs out there. Um, always try and hit those two each year. Um, you know, and then just uh, a couple of tournaments here in Georgia and down in Florida um, whenever I can. So, What is, uh, so, you know, I'm a, generically, generally speaking, I'm a parent. Um, I do have a son of a, uh, I do have a son, because you're doing boys, not girls, right? Correct. So I have a son that's a wrestler. He loves it. He's passionate about it. He's, we're not sure if he's ready for, for the big program yet. Um, and his grades are subpar. He's, he does, his study habits are not quite there, but he's a good kid. Um, why, why should I choose to send that child to Coach Gordy? Yeah, you know, so I definitely think that here at Andrew, small class sizes, you know, really good for um, hands-on, <clears throat> one-on-one, personalized education. You know, and, and I always tell kids, you know, there is a life after wrestling. You know, and it, it is my job to help prepare you, you know, as a leader, father, husband, things like that. Um, and then especially in the classroom, you know, you have to have a college degree nowadays to be somewhat, quote unquote, successful in life, you know, so um and I think that is one of my strong points, you know, is education, academics, you know, make sure we are doing what we need to in the classroom. You know, and I tell guys all the time, my pet peeve is class attendance. You know, if you don't show up to class, that's a huge way, you know, it'll impact your grades, you know. So, um, but, you know, small class sizes, um, you know, I think this institution is growing. You know, I think great things are happening here. You know, I think so. We are also adding football. So, um, you know, wrestling and football will be kind of the two powerhouses here at Andrew um, as far as junior college athletics goes. You know, so we are building, you know, brand new field houses, brand new weight rooms. You know, obviously, we're going to have a brand new wrestling room, you know. So um, and I just think that the small college environment for some um, definitely helps. Um, you know, and, and I think, yeah, and maybe I'm just a kid that I want an associate's degree. That's what I want to do. Right. And I want to wrestle a little bit. And, and then, you know, maybe I can't afford college, but I really want to go. Uh, I know you hear about different levels of NCAA and NAIA and, and what can be offered, what can't be offered. Is, is Andrew College a place where, you could get funding to go to college and and yes. you're able to help out with that. And is that, is that a conversation that as a parent we could have, right? Yeah. You know, so definitely um, we offer both academic and athletic scholarships. Um, and also one thing that is kind of neat, you know, for specifically the state of Florida, we do match bright futures. Oh, nice. So, Awesome. That is something for Florida, you know, and then obviously Hope Scholarship in Georgia. So, um, you know, we do and, you know, we definitely can put together a good package financially, you know, to where you're not $15,000, $20,000, dollars in the hole. So. All right, and that's great to know because there are, there are some kids that need the stepping stone and there are some kids that are like, man, uh, there's a job that I want when I, when I grow up and minimum requirements and associate's degree. So I need to go get that and I get to right. wrestle while I do it. Right. That doesn't oh, yeah. suck. Right. So it's awesome. yeah, and you know, I, I try and tell kids all the time, you know, just wrestle in college for two years. And then if you don't like it, you know, now you can go out there, get a job, things like that. Or, you know, now here being in Juco, you can transfer out to a higher level, things like that. So. Or maybe you wrestle for two years, you get your associates, and you're like, you know what? I don't want to wrestle anymore, but I want to major in this, and I'm going to look for a school that offers that, and and I'm just going to buckle down and do that, right? That's okay, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I definitely think, you know, the growth and development, you know, 
is also a huge piece to it. And, you know, I think they, as long as you're happy and you're getting a, a college degree, that's all that matters. So. Sure, you hear a lot of coaches. Obviously, we understand it. it's it's a business, too, in a sense, where you guys as college coaches, a little bit different, obviously, at the junior college level, right? Because you already know they're leaving. So your job is a little different, right? right? Yeah. Um, but we know coaches are judged on wins and losses, but still a lot of coaches will bypass that too, just to make, I've talked to high level coaches and they're like, man, the happiest moment I am is when they get the diploma or the happiest moment I am is when I see my wrestler now on wall street, or I see my wrestler now in a lawyer's office, in a doctor's office, owning his own business, uh, an officer in the military. Right. So, so many things, uh, that are brighter. I remember one coach told me that when I recruit kids, I tell them to make a decision for the next 40 years, not the next four years. So uh, make sure that I'm the place you want to be. Right. What are some, uh, what are some of the majors that are offered there um, that, uh, that you think might interest kids? Cause I know also when, when we were looking at colleges, obviously we looked at, the sports side of it because we have an athlete, but we also looked at what does he want to do when he grows up, right? Right. So, and do they have those majors offered? Um, so do you offer a full line of majors? Do you offer a lot of yes. opportunities? So, um, we have 23 right now, um, and we are adding some as well come in the fall of this year um, of 24. But we do have nursing, criminal justice, business, sports management, health science, um, you know, just the list goes on. Um, I said the only thing that we don't offer here at this junior college are trades. But, you know, as far as a um, liberal arts, you know, education side of things, you know, we can definitely help you in an array of of, uh, programs of study. Perfect. Yeah, because obviously you hear that, right? Um, some kids, maybe they they want to be an engineer, but your program doesn't have that, right? So they that that takes you out of the running, right? And um, so I was just trying to think of stuff parents might want to know, right, about Andrews yeah. College. Well, I'll say I'll say we actually do have engineering, um, but we don't offer like welding, you know, or um, plumbing, kind of that trade aspect of things. The technical stuff, yeah, that's yes. and that's cool. So, um, being your first year there, and I'm sure people probably ask, well, will you have? Uh, are you going to be allocated to be able to build a coaching staff? Is it just going to be you right off the bat? Are you able to bring other people with you? Do you have to get a certain amount of kids before they would allow more coaches on the staff, or are you in the process of building that? Yeah, so I'm in the process of building the staff right now. Um, and, um, you know, basically just got to go through background checks and things like that, that whole process. But, you know, we we are going to have a staff and, you know, I can assure you we are going to have a full roster. So um, <laughs> good. Yeah, because I know some uh, when I've talked to like I've had people that went and started an AI program and the first two years there, it was just them by themselves. Right. And then, yeah. as you know, being an manual part of that, I'm sure. Uh, and then as they grew and gained funding and get, gained booster money, they were able to, to add more. In the meantime, it was mostly like, uh, what is it, like grad students or whatever that would jump on yeah. and help and, and kind of get the experience because maybe that's what they want to do in life. So, right, man, it's it's super awesome to get to meet you. I hope I get to see you out on the road there. I know um, my goal is to get to Fargo this year. I don't know if that's a tournament that uh, you might – be at oh yeah um i know they're yeah usually the best of the best go there but that doesn't Absolutely. mean that that doesn't mean they're the best of the best in the classroom right <laughs> there's right there's some uh there's opportunity or maybe college isn't for them maybe they just want that smaller thing or like my son wanted a small class a small class size which is why we chose one of the, the school we chose because he's been in a private school with small classes and he really liked right. the ability to be able to know the teacher and 
create a relationship with those people to where if he has issues, he can go up and speak to them where when you go off to, you know, a Florida, Michigan, Ohio, you know, like these, these grand programs, right. um, your, your, your class size is a thousand kids and, and you're watching the teacher talk to you on a movie screen, right? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so I, I know uh, with your class sizes being small and intimate and being able to get through there, um, that will help kids develop too. And that's awesome. Absolutely. Well, well, I hope to see a bunch of kids up there. I can't wait to see you on your uh, wrestling on the mat. And uh, oh, yeah. hopefully we'll yes, see sir. you. We'll see you down. I'm, I'm sure we, we, we rubbed shoulders at the Christmas knockout. Yeah. Um, yep. Oh, yeah. But I just didn't know who you were. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. Now, I, now, so I, I, I probably said, hey, but not knowing who the hell I was saying hey to. Right. Uh, but now I can say, hey, I know who the hell I'm saying hey to. And, yes, and it's good because I get a lot of questions from, from kids or parents. And I talk to kids, hey, do you want to go to college? And they're like, yeah, but this. Yeah, but that. Yeah, but this. Right. right? And you hear some excuses. And and now I have somebody where I can say, you know, you don't have to do that first. You could do this first. Um, you can go here. It's only, you know, if you're from Central Florida, what, seven hours from us. And, uh, and, and you know, you could still be home on the weekends or you could do that. Flights yep. from Atlanta are $70 to here. Right. So um, go happen to go, go contact Mr. Go Coach Gordy and, and talk to him because there are kids like that. There's a lot of them. They're, they're not sure if they want to go to college or they want to go to college, but they don't think they're good enough to wrestle in college right. or they have that mindset, right? That, that whole thing, like if you're not wrestling division one, then you're not right. anything. Right. And, right. and some of these kids, you got to say, Hey, that's not the only wrestling that's out there. Right. Right. Uh, you don't have to, you don't have to go wrestle division one to be a successful human, right? Nope. Listen, if you have an athlete out there that that's good, that is that good and can do that, by all means, Great, yeah. God bless him, and I'm rooting for him. But for the ninety-seven percent of the other athletes, there are opportunities for them out there. So uh, it's nice to have another one come up in yourself, and then also, I know there's another program that opened up in Georgia. So to have programs down south would be great, and hopefully. Hopefully our, our schools in Florida see that and are like, hey, you know, they're onto something. I know our, our buddies at the NAI schools down there are like, no, we're good. You can stay out of here. We're, right. We, we, we got the state covered, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but I think we lose a lot of really good, talented kids. Yeah. Um, that just don't want to go away from home. They're comfortable being close to mom or dad or maybe they have, look, some, maybe it's a one-parent household and, and – uh, and that's your support system. And you need to be, as a kid, you need to be there for mom or be there for dad. And you can't really go that far. So good to have you right in our backyard. I, I hope you find a lot oh, yeah. of good kids. I, I hope you I hope you enjoy. Are you going down to Southeast Regionals in Atlanta this weekend? Yes, sir. Yep. Yep. I will uh, be there. You are going to see some hammers there. I know a lot of Florida kids that are coming up. And uh, Jason and I spoke about a lot of the Southern kids that are going to be in there, boys and girls. So uh, man, you're going to have a lot of fun there. That's, I, as a matter of fact, when he was telling me about it, I was looking up plane tickets. I was like, oh, man, if I could find one yeah. cheap, right? Because, right. uh, I mean, I would come up with my camera, obviously, and take pictures, but right. but I almost wanted to come up just to sit in the st watch and just watch. Because, yep. right. uh, you know, obviously down here at our qualifier, we'll see the Florida kids, right? But to get to go to Southeast Regionals, now you get to see our, our Florida Everyone. kids wrestle against the best of the Southeast right. and the best of, yep. that are coming in. So those are matches that we don't get to see that often, right? So right. it'll be fun. Well, man, I get back on the recruiting trail there. I hope you get a, a, a bunch of good kids. And, and, I, and I, you know, obviously the level you're coaching, you must have a lot of love for these children to be able to – to, to help our kids grow into, you know, grownups and get to go on and do bigger things. So we appreciate Absolutely. that as well. Yes, sir. <laughs> you have a great day. Yes, sir. I'll see you.